Welcome, Ale. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Batista. Hi. You're going to be taking a lie detector test today. Okay. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah, I guess so. One of you will be hooked up to the machine while the other asks questions. Mm hmm. And then you'll switch. Okay. <laughs> Who's itching to go first? Who wants to be strapped in first? I'm just strap me in. Okay. You want to be strapped in? Dave will get strapped in first. <laughs> Yeah, you've done this before. Lie detector test? Yeah. No, why would you assume that I've done a lie detector test? <laughs> I guess that did come out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Relax your hands, please, sir. Okay, are you ready? Kind of. I feel like I'm set up for failure. It's so why? uncomfortable and it's already like yeah. the light. Just relax and like tell I'm the truth. I feel like I'm being interrogated. As long as you're telling the truth, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I only tell the truth. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to set up a baseline to make sure the numbers are good. Okay. Is your name Dave Batista? No. No? It's David Michael Batista Jr. I don't know. I'm trying to be honest. Okay, all right. Were you born, born in Washington, D.C.? I was. Okay. Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Yes. How many tattoos do you have, David? Um, six. Six? Yeah. You have six <laughs> tattoos? Yes. See. Six huge ones. Why? Well, so these are all connected, so I figure they're just it's one okay. tattoo. So if there's overlap, yeah, it's one. Have you ever had a tattoo removed? No. Would you ever consider getting a friendship tattoo with me? Yes. <laughs> so, what is it, David Michael Batista Jr.? Yes. So, David Michael Batista Jr., you collect uh, vintage lunch boxes. Is that true? That is true. Do you think that makes you less intimidating? Yes. <laughs> Do you have a favorite one? Yes. It is, what a, is it? a 1967 Green Hornet lunchbox. Okay. And why is that your favorite one? Because it has Bruce Lee on it. Oh my God, you're the most adorable. <laughs> 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 is it true you were once a nightclub bouncer? Yes. 13 years. Do you think you let me into the club? Yes. What if I was wearing flip-flops and jeans? It depends on which club. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see a lot of Ed Hardy when you were a bouncer? No. Okay. It was Ed Hardy was uh, after, after I was bouncer. So you're the father of a few pit bulls, is that correct? Two. Two. Yes. Would you say, do you think a pit bull is your spirit animal? Probably not. What would it be? What would your spirit animal be? Gerbil. A gerbil? <laughs> okay. yeah, I don't know. Something, I don't know, something probably s smaller and <laughs> I don't know, more lovable. <laughs> <laughs> You're very lovable. Um, what would you say my spirit animal would be? An eagle. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Do you follow an account on Instagram called Pigs on Insta? Wow, if you guys yes. went through who were following on Insta, yeah. I'm in, I'm yeah. in trouble. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pigs on Insta, yes. Uh, that's correct. Yes. Why? Because I love pigs. Okay. Yeah. I love pigs and I don't believe people should eat pork. Don't eat pork. Is it true you, you were part of the WWE for 20 years? Mm, just under 20 okay. years, yes. In the city. You miss it. I miss it very much. Do you miss wrestling this guy? <laughs> uh, I, I will. I don't at this point because it's still very fresh, but yes, he was okay. the best. Do you miss wearing the wrestling outfit? Um, no. Do you still wear a Speedo to swim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I don't miss it. Do you ever stuff your Speedo? Never. Do guys do that? I, I don't, I'm sure they do. Okay. Do you think I could take on any of the wrestlers, the WWE wrestlers? Yes, definitely. Ooh. 
most of the current roster. <laughs> uh, what do you think my wrestler name would be? We talked about this. Yes, yeah, we did. Pack Attack. <laughs> Have you ever watched the television show Glow? Yes. Do you know what Glow stands oh, for? She is. Yeah, Betty. Uh, glamorous ladies of wrestling. Gorgeous. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Would you consider yourself to be a gorgeous man of wrestling? No. <laughs> well, bad news, everyone else does. <laughs> Would you say Marvel fans are crazier than wrestling fans? No. Not even close. Okay, here's a big question. Okay. Do you do push-ups on set before the cameras roll? Not regularly. Just what I have in my career, yes. Yeah? yeah? When it's a shirtless scene or something? No, not even when it's a shirtless scene. But I once was, uh, I saw another guy doing push-ups, and I figured, f*** him, if he's going to do push-ups, I'm going to do push-ups. <laughs> 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 Who was the other guy? Um, I remember the movie. It was Man with the Iron Fist. Yeah. And I don't remember the actor. Has he lied so far yet? He has not lied yet? I'm an honest person. God, mine's going to be bad. <laughs> Do you think if I followed your workout regimen, I could be as big as you? No. <laughs> that wasn't a lie, was it? That was the truth. No, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a matter of structure. I am a, a gorilla-esque person. Yes. I have a big head, I have big bones, big <laughs> hands, long, long arms. So, genetically... That's correct. But you we could be a very you muscular could, person. You could, you could stop answering the question. <laughs> you answered it already. Who would win in an arm wrestle, Drax or Groot? Groot. Really? Yes. I think he's stronger than Drax. He's got that tree strength. Yeah, I think uh, Drax is just meaner than Groot. Mm -hmm. He's more tenacious. This is a tough one. Okay. What about a wrestling match between you and this guy? An arm wrestling match? <laughs> Who would win? Sorry, Vin. He should have flexed Not for that a picture. Chance. <laughs> but I love you, buddy. I love you, dude, but not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I be a good addition to the MCU? Yes. Uh, did you know I'm in the new Men in Black? <laughs> the next question is, are you jealous? And that depends uh, on whether or not you've been to Rotten Tomatoes in the last couple I, of days. I have no comment on the ratings that uh, Men in Black is getting, but yes, that you are a part of that franchise. Is, I'm definitely jealous. You are in uh, the new movie Stuber, is that correct? That is correct. What was your first impression of me? I thought you were a very warm human being. You greeted me with a great big smile, and you were excited to meet me, and that meant a lot. First impressions are everything. Do you have a good Uber rating? I don't, I, I'm not aware of what my Uber rating is, but I imagine it's decent. I'm a good tipper. Yeah. I'm a quiet passenger. I, sh I don't fart in the car or anything. <laughs> no, I'm a very polite person, very polite passenger. Do you think I have a good Uber rating? You know the answer to that. You know the answer. It's I not don't a have good. a good Uber rating. How can anybody give you a bad rating? If acting doesn't work out, would you consider becoming an Uber driver? Um, maybe. You could sell Possibly. I just don't think I'd be a good Uber driver. Yeah. But, but I'm a safe driver. Right. That might go a long way. I'm just not a very conversational person. Which might go a long way as well. Has he lied yet? No. He has not. <laughs> At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? Yes. And what was yeah. that question? It was, do I remember who I did the push-ups for? And who was it? I don't want to say. <laughs> because I love and respect this person very much. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on. We're going to continue this okay. real quick. Was it the RZA? It was the RZA. Yeah, he was doing curls. We were getting ready to do our fight scene. He was doing curls. I was like, F that, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to have to do a lot of curls to look like you. All right. All right. Well, you did great. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't do it. You did it. Admit it. All right. First question. This, we're just going to start gauging this, make sure it's accurate. Is your name Kamel Nanjiani? Kamel Ali Nanjiani. Right. Yes. 
And were you born in Karachi, Pakistan? I was. Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? I have. Really? Yeah. For what? It was for a comedy show. <laughs> you had to take a lie detector test while doing stand-up. You weren't accused of a crime? No, no, I've never been accused of a crime. Okay, Okay. let's get started. <laughs> so you moved to the United States when you were 18, is that correct? 18 or 19, yes, I'm around there. And did you do very cliche American activities when you first moved here? Such as what? Eating apple pie and going to baseball games? I did not go to baseball games, <laughs> but I do love apple pie. <laughs> Um, did you buy any I Heart New York New York gear? No. The only I Heart thing I have is an I Heart Singapore t-shirt. Gotcha. And you moved here to go to college. This is correct. And would you say you had a true American college experience? I mean, I, I wasn't like partying or I wasn't in a frat or anything like that, but I so had a great... So the answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> Would you say your experience was more Revenge of the Nerds or Animal House? Oh, I would say more Revenge of the Nerds if what they're getting at is that I was a nerd. Yes, I was a nerd. I was not an animal, if those are the two options. Nerd or animal, well, I was Some nerd. of us are nerds and some of us are animals. Yeah, <laughs> you're an actual <laughs> animal. It worked out, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked out. Do you think we would have been friends in college? I would like to think so. Me too. Do you think you would have helped me get good grades? You wouldn't need my help to get good grades. Yes, I would. You would? <laughs> then <laughs> I would help you. Would you let me cheat off your test? Yes. You would? Yeah. You're so, yeah I love you, dude. I, I used to help you. people cheat all the time. <laughs> Is it true you first flirted with your now wife by writing her name in Urdu? That's correct. That's correct. You're slick, dude. You got game. I have no game. Did I ever tell you that? What are you talking about? Zero game. <laughs> I don't buy that. Uh, I swear to God. I've, I know things. Do you still use that move to get people to like you? No. No. <laughs> Just with Emily? No, it's in the movie. Everyone knows it's in the movie. <laughs> All right. Uh, why have you never written my name in Urdu? I can do it today. Sweet. Yeah. That's my tattoo? Yeah. Do you speak Urdu? Yeah. Am I pronouncing that right? Urdu, yeah. Urdu, yeah. 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 Can you teach me a phrase? Yeah, what phrase do you want? Suck my balls in Urdu. I use that a lot on Twitter. So. Suck my balls? Yeah, so now I can use it without. Mere tete chuso. <laughs> Mere tete chuso. That's right. All right, that means translated, suck my balls. All right, before you married your wife, did you ever use dating apps? No. No. I tried, but I never went on a date with one. It was right. like before that, it was early on. So you I would go on and look around but I never around with the idea yeah, yeah. But never I think I through. might have met someone on like MySpace or Friendster or something like that right MySpace that's <laughs> great uh, do you think modern technology is ruining romance no no if I were on Tinder what would you write in my bio oh really see I don't because I never did it I don't know what's good to write I would just say I'm Dave Batista. <laughs> what more do you want? That's that's pretty much the amount of my game. Would you swipe right on me? Yes. <laughs> All right. Your wife was a therapist, and your father is a psychiatrist. Is that correct? That is correct. She doesn't practice anymore. Gotcha. So, would you call yourself emotionally intelligent? Sometimes. I think all the time. I think you're super emotionally intelligent. Oh, you're thank super you. in touch. All right. Would you say you have more emotional intelligence than intellectual intelligence? Wow. That's a good question. I don't know. I'm trying to have more emotional intelligence, but I do think I, I do consider myself smart. Uh, but emotional intelligence is something I'm trying to work on. Would you say your wife uses the phrase, and how does that make you feel a lot? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she, she does. <laughs> she does not. She basically gets that across without saying that phrase because she knows I'm looking out for that phrase. She's uh -huh. got my number. She knows what to do. <laughs> All right. Would you call me emotionally intelligent? Yes. <laughs> if I started to cry right now, would you handle? It, would be able to handle it? Yeah. Yeah. 
what would you do? I whatever I'd listen to you. I'd put my arm around your shoulder. Well, I'd get a step stool and then put my arm around your shoulder. <laughs> you are super emotionally intelligent, dude. All right, what about this man, Judd Apatow? Yeah. What about him? I think he's great. He is great. I'd love to work with him again. He was a, he was a producer on Big Sick, correct? Big Sick. Do you think he's funny? Yes. Do you think he's <laughs> do you think he's funnier than me? Is he funnier than you? It's different kinds of funny. <laughs> Did he ever crack a joke that wasn't funny, but you <laughs> but you laughed anyway just to be nice? Yeah. <laughs> he's Judd Apatow. He's Judd Apatow, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't blame you. I would have done the same thing. This is why we get along. We get each other, man. Okay, you played an Uber driver in our new movie, Stuber, and you played a part-time Uber driver in The Big Sick, but you've never been an Uber driver in real life. Is that correct? This is correct. Uh, did you do ride-alongs with the Uber drivers to, to prep for the Not homes? for this movie, no. 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 Do you have Uber elite status? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know either. What? Uber What's elite? Uber elite. Well, so I don't yeah. even know what it is, but and now, I, I know there's a thing called like a Subway Black Card where you get like free sandwiches every day or something. Yeah, they have that, they have Nando's Black too. Oh, do you have that? I don't have one. No. Do you have any, any of these? No, I just kind of go and pay like everybody else. Yeah, me too. I always feel like if they give you something, then you owe them something. Right. That's yeah. right. That's exactly right. Yeah. So, but I do love Nando's. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm <laughs> not thinking about food. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? I didn't mean to. Is that a yes? It's, I don't think I lied. I don't think you did either. Sir? So, huh? Did he lie? Did I lie? No. You're not a liar. <laughs> Great. You're an honest man. 